The Constituent Assembly of India was elected to write the Constitution of India. Following India's independence from Great Britain in 1947, its members served as the nation's first parliament. An idea for a constituent assembly was proposed in 1934 by M. N. Roy, a pioneer of the communist movement in India and an advocate of radical democracy. It became an official demand of the Indian National Congress in 1935. C. Rajagopalachari voiced the demand for a constituent assembly on 15 November 1939 based on adult franchise, and was accepted by the British in August 1940. On 8 August 1940, a statement was made by Viceroy Lord Linlithgow about the expansion of the Governor-General's Executive Council and the establishment of a War Advisory Council. This offer, known as the August Offer, included giving full weight to minority opinions and allowing Indians to draft their own constitution. Under the Cabinet Mission Plan of 1946, elections were held for the first time for the Constituent Assembly. The Constitution of India was drafted by the Constituent Assembly, and it was implemented under the Cabinet Mission Plan on 16 May 1946. The members of the Constituent Assembly were elected by the Provincial Assemblies by a single, transferable vote system of proportional representation. The total membership of the Constituent Assembly was 389 to 292 were representatives of the states, 93 represented the princely states and 4 were from the Chief Commissioner Provinces of Delhi, Ajmer Marwara, Korg near Matakiri, and British Baluchistan. The elections for the 296 seats assigned to the British Indian provinces were completed by August 1946. Congress won 208 seats, and the Muslim League 73. After this election, the Muslim League refused to cooperate with the Congress, and the political situation deteriorated. Hindu-Muslim riots began, and the Muslim League demanded a separate constituent assembly for Muslims in India. On 3 June 1947 Lord Mountbatten, the last British Governor-General of India, announced his intention to scrap the Cabinet Mission Plan. This culminated in the Indian Independence Act 1947 and the separate nations of India and Pakistan. The Indian Independence Act was passed on 18 July 1947 and, although it was earlier declared that India would become independent in June 1948, this event led to independence on 15 August 1947. The Constituent Assembly elected for an undivided India met for the first time on 9 December 1946, reassembling on 14 August 1947 as a sovereign body and successor to the British Parliament's authority in India. As a result of the partition, under the Mountbatten Plan a separate Constituent Assembly of Pakistan was established on 3 June 1947. The representatives of the areas incorporated into Pakistan ceased to be members of the Constituent Assembly of India. New elections were held for the West Punjab and East Bengal which became part of Pakistan, although East Bengal later seceded to become Bangladesh. The membership of the Constituent Assembly was 299 after the reorganization, and it met on 31 December 1947. <laughs> Description The Constituent Assembly, consisting of indirectly elected representatives, was established to draft a constitution for India including the now separate countries of Pakistan and Bangladesh. It existed for approximately three years, the first Parliament of India after independence in 1947. The Assembly was not elected on the basis of universal adult suffrage, and Muslims and Sikhs received special representation as minorities. The Muslim League boycotted the Assembly after failing to prevent its creation. Although a large part of the Constituent Assembly was drawn from the Congress Party in a one-party environment, the Congress Party included a wide diversity of opinions—from conservative industrialists to radical Marxists, to Hindu revivalists. The Assembly met for the first time in New Delhi on 9 December 1946, and its last session was held on 24 January 1950. The hope of the Assembly was expressed by Jawaharlal Nehru. The first task of this assembly is to free India through a new constitution, to feed the starving people, and to clothe the naked masses, and to give every Indian the fullest opportunity to develop himself according to his capacity. This is certainly a great task. Look at India today. We, are sitting here and there in despair in many places, and unrest in many cities. The atmosphere is surcharged with these quarrels and feuds which are called communal disturbances, and unfortunately we sometimes cannot avoid them. 
But at present the greatest and most important question in India is how to solve the problem of the poor and the starving. Wherever we turn, we are confronted with this problem. If we cannot solve this problem soon, all our paper constitutions will become useless and purposeless. Keeping this aspect in view, who could suggest to us to postpone and wait? Topic. Background and election India was still under British rule when the Constituent Assembly was established following negotiations between Indian leaders and members of the 1946 Cabinet Mission to India from the United Kingdom. Provincial Assembly elections were held early in 1946. Constituent Assembly members were elected indirectly by members of the newly elected Provincial Assemblies, and initially included representatives for those provinces that formed part of Pakistan some of which are now in Bangladesh. The Constituent Assembly had 299 representatives, including 15 women. The Interim Government of India was formed on 2 September 1946 from the newly elected Constituent Assembly. The Congress party held a large majority in the Assembly 69% of the seats, and the Muslim League held nearly all the seats reserved in the Assembly for Muslims. There were also members of smaller parties, such as the Scheduled Caste Federation, the Communist Party of India and the Unionist Party. In June 1947 delegations from Sindh, East Bengal, Baluchistan, West Punjab and the North West Frontier Province withdrew to form the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan, meeting in Karachi. On 15 August 1947 the Dominion of India and Dominion of Pakistan became independent nations, and members of the Constituent Assembly who had not withdrawn to Karachi became India's parliament. Twenty-eight members of the Muslim League joined the Indian Assembly, and 93 members were later nominated from the princely states. The Congress party secured a majority of 82%. Topic. Constitution and elections At 11 a.m. on 9 December 1946 the Assembly began its first session, with 207 members attending. By early 1947, representatives of the Muslim League and princely states joined, and the Assembly approved the draft constitution on 26 November 1949. On 26 January 1950 the Constitution took effect commemorated as Republic Day, and the Constituent Assembly became the Provisional Parliament of India continuing until after the first elections under the new Constitution in 1952. Organization <inaudible> 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 Dr. Sachchidananda Sinha was the first chairman temporary of Constituent Assembly. Later Dr. Rajendra Prasad was elected as the president and its vice president was Harendra Kumar Mukherjee, a Christian from Bengal and former vice-chancellor of Calcutta University. Also chairing the Assembly's Minorities Committee, Mukherjee was appointed governor of West Bengal after India became a republic. Jurist B. N. Rao was appointed constitutional advisor to the Assembly. Rao prepared the original draft of the Constitution, and was later appointed a judge in the Permanent Court of International Justice in The Hague. The Assembly's work had five stages. Committees presented reports on issues. B. N. Rao prepared an initial draft based on the reports and his research into the constitutions of other nations. The drafting committee, chaired by B. R. Ambedkar, presented a detailed draft constitution which was published for public discussion. The draft constitution was discussed, and amendments proposed and enacted. The constitution was adopted, with a committee of experts led by the Congress Party known as the Congress Assembly Party played a pivotal role. Topic. Timeline. The 9th of December 1946, the first meeting of the Constituent Assembly was held in the Constitution Hall, now the Central Hall of Parliament House. Demanding a separate state, the Muslim League boycotted the meeting. Sachchidananda Sinha was elected temporary president of the Assembly in accordance with French practice. The 11th of December 1946, Rajendra Prasad was elected as president and H C Mukherjee was elected as vice president of the Constituent Assembly. B. N. Rao was appointed as its constitutional advisor. 
the 13th of December 1946, an objective resolution was moved by Jawaharlal Nehru in the Assembly, laying down the underlying principles of the Constitution. It finally became the preamble of the Constitution. The 22nd of January 1947, objective resolution unanimously adopted. The 22nd of July 1947, national flag adopted. The 15th of August 1947, Indian independence achieved as the Dominion of India. The 29th of August 1947, drafting committee appointed with Dr. B. R. Ambedkar as the chairman. The 16th of July 1948, along with Harendra Kumar Mukherjee V. T. Krishnamachari was also elected as second vice president of Constituent Assembly. The 26th of November 1949, Constitution passed and accepted by the Assembly. The 24th of January 1950, Jana Gana Mana, adopted as the national anthem, with the first two verses of Vand Mataram, the national song. Rajendra Prasad elected the first president of India. The assembly was chaired by Dr. Rajendra Prasad when it met as a constituent body, and by G. V. Mavlankar when it met as a legislative body. It completed the task of drafting a constitution in two years, 11 months and 18 days, at a total expenditure of 6.4 million rupees. Topic committees of the Constituent Assembly The Constituent Assembly appointed a total of 13 committees to deal with different tasks of constitution making. Out of these, eight were major committees and the others were minor committees. Major Committees Drafting Committee, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar Union Powers Committee, Jawaharlal Nehru Union Constitution Committee, Jawaharlal Nehru Provincial Constitution Committee, Sardar Patel Advisory Committee on Fundamental Rights, Minorities and Tribal and Excluded Areas, Sardar Patel. This committee had the following subcommittees, Fundamental Rights Subcommittee, J.B. Kripalani Minorities Subcommittee, Harendra Kumar Mukherjee, Northeast Frontier Tribal Areas and Assam Excluded and Partially Excluded Areas Subcommittee, Gopinath Bartoloi Excluded and Partially Excluded Areas Other than those in Assam Subcommittee, A. V. Thakur Rules of Procedure Committee, Dr. Rajendra Prasad States Committee Committee for Negotiating with States Jawaharlal Nehru Steering Committee, Dr. Rajendra Prasad Topic. Prominent members Topic. Members by province, state Madras Annie Mascarene, O. V. Alajazan Mrs. Amu Swaminathan M. Ananthasayanam Ayangar Moturi Satyanarayana Mrs. Dakshayani Velayudan Mrs. G. Durgabai Kala Venkatarao N. Gopalaswamy Ayangar D. Govinda Das Revd. Jerome D'Souza P. Kakan T. M. Kalyanan Gounder K. Kamaraj V. C. Kasava Rao T. T. Krishnamachari Aladi Krishnaswamy Iyer L. Krishnaswamy Bharati P. Kunhiraman Mosali Kanti Tirumala Rao V. I. Manuswami Pillai M. A. Muthia Chetir V. Nadamuthu Pillai S. Nagapa P. L. Narasimha Raju B. Patabi Siddharamaya C. Perumalswami Reddy T. Prakasam S. H. Prater Raja Swetachalapati Ramakrishna Ranga Roa of Babali R. K. Shanmakam Chetty, T. A. Ramalingam Chettier, Ramnath Goenka, O. P. Ramaswamy Reddier, N. G. Ranga, Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy, Sheikh Ghalib Sahib, K. Santhanam, B. Shiva Rao, Kalar Subha Rao, U. Srinivasa Malya, P. Subarayan, C. Sebramaniam V. Sebramaniam M. C. Virabahu Pillai P. M. Vilayudapani A. K. Menon T. J. M. Wilson Muhammad Ismail Sahib K. T. M. Ahmed Ibrahim Mabub Ali Beg Sahib Bahadur B. Pakar Sahib Bahadur, Padam Tanopillai Bombay 
Balkandra Maheshwar Gupta, Hansa Mehta, Hari Vinayak Pataskar, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Joseph Alban D'Souza, Kanayalal Nanabai Desai, Kashavrao Marutirao Jedi, Kandubai Kasanji Desai, Bal Gangadhar Kare, M. R. Masani, K. M. Munshi, Narahar Vishnu Gajal S. Nijalingapa S. K. Padal Ramchandra Manohar Nalavade R. R. Diwakar Shankarao Deo G. V. Mavalankar Vallabhbhai Patel Abdul Qadir Muhammad Sheikh A. A. Khan West Bengal Manomohan Das Arun Chandra Guha Lakshmi Kanta Maitra Mahir Lal Chattopadhyay Satis Chandra Samanta Suresh Chandra Majumdar Upendranath Barman Prabhudayal Haimatsinka Basanta Kumar Das Ranuka Ray H. C. Mukherjee Surendra Mohan Goes Sayama Prasad Mukherjee Ari Bahadur Gurung R. E. Platil K. C. Nia G. Raghib Asan Somnath Lahiri Jasimuddin Ahmad Nazaruddin Ahmad Abdul Hamid Abdul Halim Ghaznavi United Provinces Ajit Prasad Jain Algu Rai Shastri Balkrishna Sharma Banshi Dar Misra Bhagwan Din Damodar Swaroop Seth Dayal Das Bhagat Dharam Prakash A. Dharam Das R. V. Dulakar Faraz Gandhi Gopal Narain Krishna Chandra Sharma Govind Balab Pant Govind Malviya Har Govind Pant Harihar Nath Shastri Ride Nath Kunzru Jaspat Roy Kapoor Jagannath Bash Singh Jawaharlal Nehru Jogendra Singh Jugal Kishore Jawala Prasad Srivastava B. V. Keskar Kamala Chaudhry Kamalapati Tripathi J. B. Kripalani Mahavir Tyagi Kirsht Lal Masurya Din Mohan Lal Saxena Padapat Singhania Phool Singh Paraji Lal Purnima Banerjee Purushottam Das Tandon Hira Vallabha Tripathi Ram Chandra Gupta Shiban Lal Saxena Satish Chandra John Matai Suketa Kripalani Sundar Lal Venkatesh Narayan Tiwari Mohanlal Gautam Vishwamher Dayal Tripathi Vishnu Shuran Dublish Begum Izaz Rasul Haider Hussain, Hazrat Mohani, Abul Kalam Azad, Muhammad Ismail Khan, Rafi Ahmad Kidwai, Mode, Hivzar Rahman, Z. H. Lari, East Punjab, Bakshi Tech Chand, Jiramdas Dalitram, Thakurdas Bhargava, Bikramlal Sandi, Yashwant Rai, Ranbir Singh Huda Lala Achint Ram Nand Lal Baldev Singh Jiani Gurmukh Singh Musafir Sardar Hukam Singh Sardar Bopinder Singh Man Sardar Ratan Singh Logar Chaudhry Siraj Mal Bihar Amyo Kumar Ghosh Anugra Narayan Sinha Banarsi Prasad Junjunwala Bhagwat Prasad Boniface Lakra Brajeshwar Prasad Chandika Ram K. T. Shah Devendra Nath Samanta Dip Narain Sinha Guptanath Singh Jadubin Sahay Jagat Narain Lal Jagjivan Ram Jaipal Singh Munda Kameshwar Singh of Darbanga Kamaleshwari Prasad Yadav Mahesh Prasad Sinha Krishna Balab Sahay 
Raghunandan Prasad, Rajendra Prasad, Rameshwar Prasad Sinha, Ramnarayan Singh, Sachchidananda Sinha, Sarangdhar Sinha, Satyanarayan Sinha, Bainadanand Jha, P. K. Sen, Sri Krishna Sinha, Sri Narayan Matha, Syamanandan Mishra, Hussain Imam Syed Jafar Imam, Latifur Rahman, Muhammad Tahir, Tajamul Hussain, Chaudhry Abid Hussain, Hargavind Mishra, Central Provinces and Berar, Ambika Sharan Shukla, Ragu Veera, Rajkumari Amrit Kaur, B. A. Mandaloy, Bridgelal Madlal Bayani, Thakur Chitalal Seth Govind Das, Hari Singh Gaur, Hari Vishnu Kamath, Hemchandra Jagabaji Khandakar, Ganshiam Singh Gupta, Lakshman Shrawan Bhatkar, Panjabrao Shamrao Deshmukh, Ravi Shankar Shukla, R. K. Sidva, Shankar Trimbak Dharmadakari, Frank Anthony, Kazi Syed Karamadan, Ganpatrao Dani Assam Nibiran Chandra Laskar Dharanidar Basu Matari Gopinath Bartoloi J. J. M. Nichols Roy Kuladhar Chalia Rahini Kumar Chaudhary Muhammad Sadula Abdur Roof Orissa Biswanath Das Krishna Chandra Gajapati Narayana Dev Harakrushna Mahatab Laxmanarayan Sahu, Lokanath Mishra, Nankashore Das, Raikrishna Bose, Santanu Kumar Das, Yudhishir Mishra, Delhi, Dishvandu Gupta, Ajmer Murwara, Mukit Bihari Lal Bhargava, Korg, C. M. Punaka, Mysore, K. C. Reddy, T. Siddhalingaya H. R. Garuv Reddy, S. V. Krishnamurti Rao, K. Hanumanthaya, H. Siddhavirapa, T. Chanya, Jammu and Kashmir, Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah, Motiram Bhaigra, Mirza Muhammad Afzal Beg, Maulana Muhammad Sayyid Masudi, Travancore Cochin, Padam A. Thanu Pillai, R. Sankar P. T. Chako, Pananpilli Govinda Menon, Annie Mascarine, P. S. Nataraja Pillai, K. A. Muhammad, Madhya Bharat, Vinayak Sitaram Sarwate, Bridgeraj Narain, Gopakrishna Vijayavargya, Ram Sahai, Kusum Kant Jain, Radhavalab Vijayavargya, Sitaram S. Jaju, Saurashtra Balwant Rai Gopalji Mehta, Jaisuklal Hathi, Amrit Lal Vithaldas Thakur, Chamanlal Chakubai Shah, Samaldas Lakshmidas Gandhi, Rajasthan, V. T. Krishnamachari, Hiralal Shastri, Sardar Sinji of Khetri, Jaswant Sinji, Raj Bidur, Manakya Lal Varma, Gokul Lal Asava Ramchandra Upadhyaya, Balwant Sinha Mehta, Dalil Singh, Jainarain Vyas, Patiala and East Punjab States Union, Ranjit Singh, Soche Singh, Bhagwant Roy, Bombay States, Vinayakrao Balshankar Vaidya, B. N. Munavali, Gokulbai Dalitram Bhatt, Jivraj Narayan Mehta Gopaldas A. Desai, Paranlel Thakralal Munshi, B. H. Kardikar, Ratnapa Baramapa Kumher B. N. Dater, Orissa States, Lal Mohan Patti, N. Madhava Rao, Raj Kunwar, Sarangadar Das, Yudhishthir Mishra, Central Provinces States, R. L. Malvia, Kishorimohan Tripathi Ramprasad Potai 
United Provinces States B. H. Zaidi Krishna Singh Madras States V. Ramaya Ramakrishna Ranga Rao Vindhya Pradesh Avdesh Pratap Singh Shambhu Nath Shukla Ram Sahai Tawari Manulal G. Dwaidi Kuch Behar Himit Singh K. Maheshwari Tripura and Manipur Gurja Shankar Guha Bhopal Lal Singh Kutch Bhawani Arjun Kimji Himachal Pradesh Yashwant Singh Parmar Topic. Members who later withdrew after partition East Bengal Abdullah al Mahmud Maulana Maud Abdullah el Baki Abdul Hamid Abdul Qasim Khan Muhammad Akram Khan A. Hamid Azizuddin Ahmad Muhammad Habibullah Bihar Prem Hari Barma Raj Kumar Chakravarti SRI's Chandra Chattopadhyaya Abdul Matan Chaudhry Mortaza Raza Chaudhry Hamidul Haq Chaudhry Akay Kumar Das Durendra Nath Datta Bupendra Kumar Datta Ibrahim Khan Fazlul Huq Fazlur Rahman Gayasuddin Patan Begum Shasta Surawardi Ikramullah Liaquat Ali Khan Mafazuddin Ahmad Mahmud Hussain Nianendra Chandra Majumdar A. M. Malik Bharat Chandra Mandal Jogendra Nath Mandal Muhammad Ali Khwaja Nazimuddin Mabl. Nur Ahmed Nurul Amin Ishtiak Hussain Qureshi Sri Donajoy M. A. B. L. Roy Mahdi Bakesh Chanda B. L. Sarahul Islam Maulana Shabir Ahmad Osmani Shahabuddin Khwaja H. S. Surawardi Harendra Kumar Sir Tamaluddin Khan Kawivi Karwar Datta Ghulam Muhammad West Punjab Mian Mumtaz Muhammad Khan Daltana Ganga Saran Zafarullah Khan Iftikhar Hussain Khan Mian Muhammad Iftikharuddin Muhammad Ali Jinnah Sheikh Karamat Ali Nazir Ahmad Khan Sardar Abdur Rab Nistar Faraz Khan Noon Omar Hayat Malik Shah Nawaz Begum Jahan Era Sardar Shakat Hiat Khan Northwest Frontier Province Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan Khan Sardar Bahadur Khan Sardar Asad Ullah Jan Khan Sindh Abdus Sitar Abdur Rahman Alhaj Muhammad Hashim Ghazdar M. A. Kuro Baluchistan S. B. Nawab Muhammad Khan Jogazai Gallery <laughs>